Clam chowder, yes. We, we got here a... Uh, and these are local clam sets? Yes. Uh -huh. Heat up a little bit of your saucepan. So a little bit of butter. Unsalted or salted? Unsalted. Unsalted. No, no need to, uh, introduce salt. to introduce any more salt. We're dealing with seafood. Okay. We're going to put a little, couple of strings of uh, fresh thyme. Fresh thyme and garlic. Definitely there to uh, help out on the, you know, on the flavor. So our clams here go right ahead in, uh, in that pot. Especially in seafood. You know, there's something about you know, using butter in seafood that really works well together. Little cover right here. Get them going a little bit. And they About will open up and release everything. Right here. Correct? Yes. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of a uh, vegetable stock. So what it is is basically you know trims, uh, onions, uh, uh, aromatics, you know uh, bay leaf, uh, thyme, rosemary, garlic, and so forth. But uh, you know chicken stock will will definitely work as well. Yes. Okay. Here on the other pot here, we're gonna get started with a. Uh, so we have a little bit of a chop off uh, celery. And then we have a little bit of a turkey, uh, turkey bacon for the flavor, essentially, you know, more than anything else. It, 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 it sort of like sings a little bit in that pot. We're going to put a little bit of our uh, uh, potato as well, you know, feeling. All right. So our clams open. I'm going to basically put them in a, in, a, in a bowl right here. So we'll basically remove the jus. Seasoning in there. We're gonna add a little bit extra butter because you know, you know, uh, uh, color caramelized brown, right. and and we did remove all the all the clam uh, the clam the meat, clam meat. Uh, from the shell. Okay. So we we add our clams here. So the juice from the clams is yes. now in here. Yes. Build everything together. Reduce it down all together. Mm. We have duck prosciutto. We use we actually use a, a turkey oh, turkey. Instead yeah. of mm -hmm. good good. It substitute. says duck, duck prosciutto on your on your recipes. Anything that's, you know, uh, uh, smoky, dry. Right, uh, right. Like a cured uh, meat. Like a cured, you, you know, replace. a cured, cured meat that's beautiful. Okay. And I even have a little bit extra of that clam jus. Make sure that, you know, you definitely want that briny, uh, you know, uh, ocean flavor type of thing. Mm. And then we're going to bring a little bit of cream. Again, is this the heavy cream now, it's, Chef? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pour a little bit like this. Since in every recipe there's a little secret, uh, we had a little bit of roux, roux being uh, half, half on the butter and the flour. So basically we melt, melted butter and flour together, whisk it up, cold it off, and then make that sort of a, a you know, Play-Doh Play type yeah. of thing, a <laughs> consistency. You just drop it a little bit in there, and right away you'll see the consistency that, of the soup that's going to you know, basically thicken up a little bit. Multi-ingredient type of thing. Uh, what we did is that we did a sweet potato gnocchi. It's, it's like a pasta <laughs> made gnocchi. with potatoes, chef, that, right? That's what pasta it is. Made it's with a pasta, yeah. So that is nice and, 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 you know, on the little, uh, little design like this, we just basically pull it out in this, like this. Visually, you're going to see all the, all the ingredients. Yeah, I like to see everything I'm yes. eating. No. Yes, yes. And the gnocchi, you know, the, the sweet potato gnocchis are definitely going to be there to give it a little, you know, sweet, extra sweet, I would say. Little finishes of an herb garnish like this. What is that herb that you just put in? Watercress or something Maybe like that. Maybe watercress. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. 